Uh, for this one, you need uh, to download uh, Mechanim Animator Adam from the Hutton Games website, the Playmaker website. You can find it under, um, I believe, under Manual and Add-ons, and then it says uh, Mechanim Animator here. All right. So. This time I just wanted to show um, how to reverse time. I'm still researching and trying to figure out the most complex version, but I managed to you know, get something simple up and running, which I think could end up uh, in a sometime something you can use in a game. Uh, I'll show you what I have. So basically, the red cubes are supposed to be traps. So kind of the idea I had uh, when I uh, tested this out was that you kind of oh you get hit and you try and avoid it by going back and forth in time. You can't go all the way back, so you like oh and then another trap comes up and you're like trying to jump away using your uh, rewind time to avoid obstacles. And whoa and then go back for. So that's it. You could actually use it to make a, a different kind of game, you know, avoiding obstacles and uh, things like that. It stops eventually from the previous uh, recording. So I'm actually just going to stop. There it stops. And then you have to click play again and then you can continue. And you can change your path. And you go like this. And I can left click and I can do something else so you can make a pretty decent prototype game based on this feature alone so how does it work well first of all you need a character that read I'm not going to show how to do it but you use the animator you have a jump and run idle basically on my character I have a action called animator start recording it basically starts recording uh, and then I move over to this date and I'm waiting for a right mouse button and when I click the right mouse button it moves over to uh, this state called minus speed and basically here I'm using an action called set animator speed minus one and that's what uh, makes it go back in time and I can go like this and if I click rapidly it will actually stop in mid air so you can actually make like a uh, gameplay based on that as well where you stop in mid air and bullets fly around and then you release to continue so I have a general idea of how I would do it as well for that measure and then you have uh, the last one is uh, push left mouse button again and it will send me over to uh, set animator speed and I put 1 instead of minus 1 which will re return it to its normal speed and I have other things uh, as you see I have triggers and things for my examples which uses a uh, trigger event and a scale time to slow down time uh, and I use I twin move by to move the cubes basically so it's pretty straightforward this simple feature so you can actually do quite a few things so, uh, you have four states, one that starts recording immediately when you play, and I uh, have a mouse button down to activate uh, the set the animator speed to go back in time, and I have a left mouse button to set the animator speed back to one, so I can uh, go f forward again. So I can uh, mix between go back and forth, but it will not go back all the way, as I said, it's not the perfect one, perfect uh, setup. So if I now jump and then I click left, left and then eventually it will just stop a little bit in terms of going back. So I have to go forward. So that's it. Uh, it's quite pretty straightforward. Let me know if you want to have more explanation or uh, something like that. Thanks. Bye bye.